If all legends hide the reality in them. All of the stories? Yes. But today, we will study only one of them. The story of the Patriarch Noah. And we will try to understand scientifically when the events in the myth could have taken place and in what climatic and geological conditions. And so, God spoke to Noah. Noah, build an ark. Enter it with your family and take with you pairs of all animals, birds and reptiles so that they can escape the impending flood. Throughout the far-reaching history of the Earth's development, natural disasters have occurred periodically. Um, earthquakes, floods and large-scale volcanic eruptions that have left their mark on our planet, changing its landscape, its climate, the flora and fauna. The flood in Noah's story is likely to have been caused by global warming and global cooling over the last whew, one million years. During this extensive glaciation, the face of the Earth was covered with glaciers. Conifer forests and uh, fluffy animals dominated the flora and fauna of the time. People used fire and warm clothing to, to escape the frost. The last largest extension of glaciers, or the last glacial maximum, was 22 to oh, 18,000 years ago. At its turn, uh, approximately 18,000 years ago, the climate began to warm up again. And around 14,000 years ago, glaciers began to melt rapidly. <laughs> now, this significant climate change marked the beginning of a new geological age called the Holocene. Now, this is the period where the cave bears and the mammoths became extinct. And what was happening in the Armenian highlands when the glaciers began to melt? The glaciers started to slide down from the mountains and the population of coniferous trees increased. The millennial ice and snow melted rapidly and the, uh, the water began to flow through the gorges and the valleys down into the low depressions. The Ararat depression was also filled up with water and its inhabitants were forced to, um, to climb up the mountains. Now, there are glaciers in Armenia on Greater Ararat and remnants of glaciers can be found on Aragats which remain there all year round, although some of them completely melt in the summer. And behold, the uh, scientific explanation of the story of Noah and the flood caused by melting of glaciers, geological changes that took place 14 to 12,000 years ago. So at some point, people actually lived in the mountains. Exactly. 12 to 10,000 years ago, the people of Armenia lived at altitudes between 3,200 and 1,700 meters above sea level. Now this is because the surface of the Earth was covered with water. 9 to 8,000 years ago, people came down to altitudes between 1,500 and 1,000 meters. And 8 to 7,000 years ago, as the water was gradually retreating, they began to descend to the plains to establish their settlements in the Ararat Valley. In Amavir region, there is a village called Agavnatun. The tale has it that this is the very place where the dove sent by the patriarch Noah found the awaited land. Now, when gazing at the Ararat Plateau from the northern part of the village, the most stunning view opens up before the viewer, where the entire area seems to be just in the palm of your hand. Nine to eight thousand years ago, people had the privilege to continually observe the area of the Ararat Valley, and only to discover one day the waters covering the land had receded, and it was now possible to go down from their high places and, and inhabit that fertile valley. Now let's not forget that the name of the patriarch Noah is associated with gardening and winemaking. <laughs> and according to the legend, it was Noah himself who planted the first vine and made wine from it. <laughs> and got a little drunk. One of the most famous ancient complexes of wine production was discovered in the Vyot Zor region near the Ararat Depression. Even so, it took Noah 4,000 years to get from the heights of Mount Ararat all the way down to Ararat Valley. Anyway, that's enough for today. We'll meet again soon.